hello and welcome to another one of our lockdown editions of Chewing the Cud, where we will be talking about showbiz, we will be having a look at things on the internet that you might have missed, and you'll be having another one of our amazing lockdown lessons. Now, it's time to introduce my co-host, who, oh hang on, he doesn't appear to be there at the moment. Is uh, Have we turned him on? Just, uh, just let me get me my remote. Hang on, right, okay. What channel, what channel do we normally get in on? It's 69, isn't it? 69 or number two. It's usually, yeah, number, yeah. Oh, God. Right, okay. Is he there? Is he with hello, us? Hello, hello. Can oh. you see me? Oh, hello. you're there. Oh, there we go. Hello. I was, thought you'd forgotten all about me then. Um, so, yeah, joys of modern technology, eh? Uh, what, were you, what, was, what had happened? What was going on? What was occurring? I, no one had turned me on. That's all. Um, so yeah, the shops might be starting to open, but we're still virtual. Um, I'm bringing you some of the fun and interesting things I've seen on the internet. And I have some showbiz news about a shock revelation about a character who is well known for the shape of his pants. So if you wanted to keep in touch with us on all your social media platforms, just search for at the could TV, our website, which is the TV. And if you want to hear our lovely voices on a podcast, just search for Chewing the Cud on your podcast app. And if you've interacted with us on social media this week, have a look at the bottom of the screen and you'll see your name scrolling past, just between my chest hair and my chin. That's where you'll be. <laughs> so yeah, so are you ready, Lee? Because <laughs> brace yourself, it's time for... Game of the Week. So this week, our producer has sent some photos of potential guests for the show. Um, he thinks some of them aren't actually who they appear to be. So he wants us to identify which ones are the real ones and which are the fake celebrities. Is that what we have to do? That's right. Actually, the producer's rushed here from a fancy dress party where he's been dressed as a cowboy. He told me before that he can't wait to get the chaps off in the toilets later. Oh, I've heard he likes a good woody. Uh, do you really? Yes. I'm more of a buzz person myself. Oh, okay. yes. <laughs> um, so shall we start by trying to guess the first slide? Okay, so is that a real cumberbatch? A cumberbatch? Is that a real cumberbatch? That is that a like real cumberbatch or a fake cumberbatch? Um... <laughs> well, yeah, or an Engelbert Humperdinck? Or an Engelbert Humperdinck. I get very confused between the two. I, I mean, I it know. looks like it looks like Benedict Cumberbatch, although I'm, I'm, does, but I'm not I sure. I think it's a fake. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to go it's with not real one. It's, a, it's an imposter. It's an imposter. Yeah. It's Jeez. Eggs Benedict. So it's Eggs Benedict. <laughs> let's see. Who it, let's let, reveal. So, oh. Yeah, okay. he is an imposter. You can tell by the right. nose. So, where do we. Where, so, is, there, is this a lucky likey? Is he like employed as a lucky likey for Benedict Cumberbatch? I think so, yeah. Oh, well, right, okay. Well done, him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no. I, that is a real Timberlake. That is somebody who has been told he looks like Justin Timberlake and is quite <laughs> pleased with himself. Um, but um, I, I, there is a resemblance there to Justin Timberlake, mm -hmm. but he's more of a trouser snake than a Timberlake. I'm going. Oh, well. <laughs> well, shall we see who's right then? Reveal. It, uh, it could be like his like cousin. No. Oh. Oh. Yeah. We knew well, that one. If you just well, well, you did. I thought it was a, the real one because yeah, yeah. You're not used to looking at his face, are you? <laughs> Ooh, Johnny Depp. Mr. Depp. I don't. I don't think that is Johnny Depp. I think. See, I, I always get a bit concerned with Johnny Depp because when I see Johnny Depp in movies and things, I don't realise it's Johnny Depp. Mm. He so, hasn't got a sausage in his in his. He hand. hasn't got a sausage in his hand. No, <laughs> so I, I can't. I can't. I'm I'm going to go with it's not. And if it is, then uh, my world has ended as we know it. Because I, I don't. I'm going to go with. I'm going to go with it is because, it, as I said, I can't. I can never realise it's Johnny Depp when it is Johnny Depp. So, I'm going to go imposter. Yeah. Reveal the legend. Reveal the legend. <laughs> Is it? Is it? Well, I know that, that's definitely Johnny Depp on the... I oh, was right! Yeah, you were right. Oh. Yeah, I mean, they do... They, <laughs> yeah, you could... Yeah. 
But they're at, I'm not good with faces, so that's yeah. <laughs> Robbie Ooh. Williams. That that is Robbie Williams because he's I got think... the, the smug smug smile of I got loads of money and was really famous. Now Robbie Williams does have loads of like Robbie Williams impersonators. I think that I think mm. I think you're right. I think that's Robbie Williams, and he's had some fillers put in to plump his face up. But I I think that's him, and I have a feet. Oh no, it's oh oh no. <gasps> Oh, it's like a better version of Robbie Williams. <laughs> wow, Kim Jong Un. That is not the real Kim Jong Un. Well, he's stood in front of Buckingham Palace, isn't he? And I don't That's think he's ever. Been, yeah. <laughs> I don't think he's ever been allowed in this country. So, um, <laughs> unless he's like zoomed a background in, I'm going to say <laughs> <laughs> on a work conference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just a. Oh, okay. Well, again, I, I, okay, yeah, mm-hmm. he's an imposter. Yeah. yeah. So let's have a quick catch up of the score, shall we? So it's four two to you, Lee. Four two to me. Oh, yeah, that's, that's a surprise. Just, that's You're a winning again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyone would think I write these 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 games just for me. <laughs> yeah, right. So let's see if we can move on. See if I can get some points. Leonardo DiCaprio, that's the real one. From many, many years many, ago. Many, many years ago. That That's kind of Gilbert Grape era. That's Leonardo. That's bottom, isn't it? Gilbert yeah, Grape. and, uh, and um, 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 Romeo and Juliet. So yes. I'm going yeah, to say young, pre-ravaged Leonardo. Ooh. And there's, there's ravaged Leonardo that's, DiCaprio. That's Leonardo now. Oh, ha- isn't youth a cruel, cruel thing? No, time's um, a cruel thing. Youth's a wonderful thing. Oh, dear. So... Uh, so Oh no, he's an imposter. So the one that we thought was n- him now <laughs> <that's>, <laughs> isn't actually him. <laughs> isn't actually him. Although it could be because yeah, Jeff Goldblum. Goldblum. That's not Jeff Goldblum. Yes, yes, that no, is it's Jeff not. Goldblum. Yes. No, it doesn't look. It looks a passing, passing resemblance to him, but it's not. It's just some bloke in a in a. There's no, because there's no Tyrannosaurus Rex behind him. Yeah, and it, no, it's it's yeah. Oh. I knew it. Well, I knew you know, it. He could use the subway. Yeah. He, a giant, he had a giant statue of him built, didn't he? So. They did, yeah. yeah. Thomas Schaffernacker. That is Thomas Schaffernacker. I'm not I'm not 100% aware of Thomas Schaffernacker. I can barely say it. Um, so <laughs> I um, I wouldn't know. Doesn't he have curly hair? Thomas well, his hair's, gone, his hair's gone very long because he can't get a, a haircut. He's... I'm yeah. still trying to say Schnaffernacker. Schnaffernacker. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with I don't know because I don't know him. I'm, I'm aware of him. It's not him, is it? So that one on the right's not him. No. Oh, okay. So the one, the, the one that we're looking at with the long hair is him. Is him? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mike so, Myers. Mike Myers. That that is Mike Myers. Yes, that's definitely Mike Myers from Austin that is Mike Powers. Myers. Yeah. And reveal the legend. No, clearly that that's just some. That, that's your uncle Barry <laughs> going to your fancy dress party, <laughs> <laughs> and has been down to crazy outfits and got himself a Austin that's Powers. That's a cheap wig. <laughs> I, want to, I want to know where he's got it from. <laughs> okay, let's see. Well, Prince Harry. That's def- that is Prince Harry. That that's is, Prince Harry. Yeah, hundred percent. That's Prince Harry. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see who. So, reveal the legend. See if this one's got a Canadian flag on. No, no. clearly no. not. Too much hair. Yeah. <laughs> that, is that the actor that plays him in the comedy series? I think it might be. No. <laughs> no. Robert De Niro, what have you done? No. Is, what's is that a bad is... waxwork of <laughs> Robert De Niro? <laughs> <laughs> that is not Robert De Niro. That's not, that is not Robert De Niro. It can't be. It can't be. Because he's got spray on hair. Is that hair being <laughs> photoshopped onto this that picture? It looks like it, yeah. He's doing the face. But yeah. yeah, we knew that. Do you that. know what he look? Do you know who he looks like? You know the cra- is it Crazy Town that kids program with the with the the evil one that does has the like handlebar moustache? He looks like him but without. Oh, the Robbie Rotten. Yes, yes. <laughs> From Lazy Town. Lazy Why Town, Crazy this? Town. I don't know these things. <laughs> Why do I know this though? <laughs> is he in your saved collection? Yes. That Tom. is not Tom Hardy. No, that's not Tom Hardy. Although I'm, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
I'm kind of not sure who Tom Hardy is. To be honest. Tom Hardy um, is was oh what's his name King Henry VIII. That's oh Tom no! Hardy. Oh yes, yes. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's all we've had uh, for the photos this week. So should we get the scores in? Nine to Mike. <laughs> and 11 points to Lee. I didn't come really last. I just kind of came last. <laughs> no, but I won again. So coming up, we have another one of our amazing lockdown lessons. But you've got just enough time to complete a nine-piece jigsaw puzzle. Before coming up next, it's Lee with the Showbiz News. Fill our coin purse. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Fill our coin purse. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now, if you haven't been keeping up with all the gossip, he's here to save the day. It's Lee with his showbiz news. Hello, yes. So we've got some showbiz news. Are you a SpongeBob fan in general? A little bit of a SpongeBob fan, you know, because he, he lives I, in a pineapple I, under the sea. He does. He's amazing. Now, yeah. I've always thought that he probably was family, but yeah. it's never been confirmed up until recently. So recently, so within the last kind of couple of weeks, um, Nickelodeon have confirmed in a roundabout way that SpongeBob is actually LGBTQ+. Mm-hmm. So in America, it's Pride Month, and they posted on their social media a picture of um, some animated characters and um, stars from their television f- um, program um that kind of alluded to the fact that they were celebrating pride so along with the and i don't really watch nickelodeon because i'm 800 years old and, and <laughs> i'm not allowed to um, but there was there was there was an actor called michael d Co- cohen who is from a kids tv show called henry danger who is transgender and there's also a, a, an, an animated character called avatar cora from the legend of cora i have no idea what that is nope, um, no, and she is bisexual oh. um but they've kind of so so hashtag spoiled SpongeBob gay, SpongeBob is gay, was trending. To be fair, it's not a massive surprise that SpongeBob has come out. He lives in a pineapple under the sea. His best friend is a starfish. Mm-hmm. We all know what Patrick. that's for. <laughs> um, we all know. We all know what that's all about. Um, so we. So although they haven't actually said that he is, um, yeah. he, the creator of SpongeBob denied it a couple of years ago. He kind of like said, "No, he just is who he is. He's just." the character however right. it's kind of been in sort of in, indicated indicated yeah. is he in a car driving along <laughs> Who knows? Um, it's been insinuated that mm-hmm. he is um he is gay which is amazing i love spongebob I I've, I've been to see the films i have characters he's he's fantastic um so welcome to the family spongebob yes. um perhaps not plankton we don't really want Plankton because he's, he's not very nice. Um, that's, that's, a, that's a weird thing if you actually watch the, the cartoons. Yeah. <laughs> You'll know what I'm talking about. Okay, so we are also getting to that stage in the year where Strictly is starting to be mentioned. Now, Ooh. obviously, with stuff that's going on at the moment with coronavirus and social distancing – they're not 100% sure how they're going to kind of go about Strictly. I don't think <laughs> you can dance on the road, at two <laughs> metres. <laughs> yeah, just dancing to, I'm dancing on my own by um, yeah. by Robin. That's all they're yes. going to, every week. <laughs> every week. In a different so costume. Hand jive. But, <laughs> that's it. So what they're doing is that, because this time of the year we get kind of who's going to be on the show and what's going to happen. And last year there was a lot of debate as to whether they were going to have a same-sex couple. Now yeah, they there, did there, do a same-sex a debate, dance. There? Yeah, they they had one of their da- the sort of like main dances, and um, that was with um, Johan Radibi. Um, he is an out um, dancer on the show, mm-hmm. um, and they did. Um, I think in the background that is Emily Sande. So when she, you know, they have a, mm-hmm. a pop star that comes on and sings a song, and then yeah. the dancers dance around them. Um, they had two two girls dancing, and then these guys dancing. So it's been 
mooted as to whether or not that the, so we had dancing on ice last last year that had h from steps mm-hmm. partnered with a male dancer yeah. so the bbc have apparently gone nah, do you know what that's a bit too predictable to have two men dancers we're gonna go down the female route and the rumor is is that they're going to have their first ever female same-sex um couple the picture that we've got on the screen is of nobody that we know it's just two <laughs> ladies having a dance just two ladies dancing <laughs> <laughs> just having a, just having a lovely dance in some silk silky pajamas which is lovely um so yeah that so, that, so now they're kind of like going on to who might be coupled with who. Mm. So they've got this huge list of people who um, the, 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 they're thinking that they would like to have. So you've got people like Sandy Toxvik. Um, mm-hmm. We've got Steph McGovern. So, that I'll she's just stop been, it. She, Sandy Toxvik. Yeah. Yeah. Very small lesbian. What, a very small, a pocket lesbian. She's, but, she's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> but they've had busy. tiny people on before. They, I know, but I'm just thinking of this pair with a statuesque lady. <laughs> yeah, but do, do you remember? Do you remember when Anton de Beck buttoned up with Anne Widdicombe? Not that I'm saying that Anne Widdicombe and Sandy Toxford have anything <laughs> in common apart from a, slightly different, apart from their height, different people, uh, and. <laughs> <laughs> all, they, all they did was just winch her up around and, and threw her around the thing. So mm-hmm. yeah, so Sandy Totspick, I could see. I'm not 100 yeah. percent sure. Um Steph McGovern's had a baby recently, so whether or not mm-hmm. that might affect it. They, they've also thrown the name Je- Jesse J into the mix. Who, oh. if you cast your minds back when she first came out onto the music scene Mm -hmm. she kind of alluded to the fact that she was bisexual Mm -hmm. for quite a while and then she kind of said "Mm, no i'm I'm, I'm not really um so i don't i don't know where she is at the moment in in terms of well well, how she describes herself it's a spectrum it's a spectrum it's a a rainbow there's a Um, space for everybody so there is so yeah so that's what they're going for they're they're thinking that they want to keep pushing boundaries on strictly so this may well may well Well, i think if they wanted to really get the get really push a boundary they could bring bruce back for a week <laughs> yeah they could we're um we're still not sure whether he's still with us or not it's it's um yeah it's too too soon too soon too close um but yeah but again we'll have to we will have to keep our eyes on what's going to happen particularly around how they're going to be dancing and if there's going to be a studio because a part of strictly is a studio audience and all that kind mm-hmm. of stuff if they can't have that like some of the football the foot ball apparently <laughs> foot uh, have been sports, playing yes. <laughs> foot sports um in in the in the in the arenas but with no people watching so mm-hmm. um perhaps i don't know so yeah we'll have to keep our eyes on that mm-hmm. and then my last I, I have a bit of an obsession at the moment i go through obsessing over netflix television programs yeah. and my favorite one at the moment is called nailed it now we have things like baking and mm. bake off and all those kinds of, where people have to make these amazing cakes this show is completely the opposite and it is amazing so what okay. they do is they bring in three people and um they have a professional chef um and um they get them to to so they'll say right this is what we want you to make so on the screen mm-hmm. now we've got um some of the reveals um, so like, this is what we want you to make and then the people have to go away and make it and then they reveal it and they are horrific <laughs> so <laughs> this one that we've got um, <laughs> is awful so th- and, and that is the whole thing with the show is that they th- th- they laugh and the and the um host of the show who who i love i think she's amazing um she is called nicole Bayer, and she's fantastic she's a she's a stand-up comedian in america but she, this show is just amazing with her because her reactions when they reveal things is just hilarious and then so once they've revealed like that hideous <laughs> kind of <laughs> so, so, just get, so the professionals make a really really polished version and then there's just amateurs that do this yeah, they have, so they show them the cake and they go, right, this is what we want to make. It might be cupcakes, it might be cookies, but this is what we, you should be doing. Now go away and make it. Uh, <laughs> so we've got some examples. 
<laughs> yeah. The one on the left, the one on the left is what they were supposed to make. That's what they make. That's the reveal. Um, on the it looks, other like, side. looks like the, the, the cookie on one side has been on a night out and it's the next morning. <laughs> yeah, it's oh, it's amazing. And then what the judges then have to do is they have to taste what these people have made. This is my <laughs> ultimate favourite. So that is supposed to, so they were a little bit tongue in cheek. They, re- they had to make a, a Trump cake this is what one of the, co- one of the contestants <laughs> made to be fair it's got a head and it's got some shoulders um yes. the others weren't hair. so yeah. <laughs> and it's got a little I, bit um, of hair which was made out of shredded wheat oh, <laughs> she just got a we piece finally of shredded found wheat, the use for shredded wheat <laughs> and stuck it on his head he's got a serious case of pink eye and he looks like you know in um the Temple of Doom, when the yes. Ark, or is it Ladies Ali of the Lost Ark, when it comes up, <laughs> yeah, and, and it sucks all their life out of them. It looks like that. Um, <laughs> it's brilliant. The, the winner gets $10,000 mm. um, as a prize, um, and they have a different sort of comedian guest on every week, and it's just absolutely amazing. If so, you were going to make a cake mm-hmm. or a biscuit, what would you go for? What would What would be your inspiration? Um, you see, I, I am renowned for being great at baking, but awful oh. at decoration. Oh, okay. so what tends to happen is I will pre- present a very pleasant, plain cake that tastes very good, but looks like poo. No, it, no, it just okay. it just looks very plain as a, as a cake. That's okay. Okay. Well, well, we will we will bear that in mind for for future episodes, uh, <laughs> and that. Is is the end of the delicious showbiz news. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Now, don't miss out, because coming up, we're going to inform and educate you with our lockdown lessons. But stick with us, because after the break, it's Mike and his buzz. Keep the studio supplied with gay energy. Go to thecud.tv slash support. Make this show much better. Donate at thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. Now, I know that Mike has got repetitive strain injury in his wrist for all the typing that he's been doing. That's what he tells us. But here is Mike with his buzz. So, I've been busy squirreling away again on the old internet, and I've found a couple of things that have tried to inspire me. Now, when we're talking about inspiration, I'm talking about exercise. Okay. I don't know about you, Lee, but since the lockdown has happened, I've put on a lot of weight. Have you? Um, yeah, the, this is not actually a beard. This is this is chins that oh, are painted to look like a beard. Hair covered chin, <laughs> <laughs> extra chins. Um, no, I've put on seven kilos. Oh wow! I I don't know what Which that means. A lot. I don't know what that means. Um, being um, it's it's a lot. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. Okay, it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Um, now, um, so I've been trying to find inspiration for exercise, mm-hmm. and it came from an unlikely unlikely space of snappy banter on facebook who shared who shared some um you know space hopper balls yes i i, I do remember them with the with yes. the with the horns that you held on to yes well they've they've brought those out but instead of having two horns yeah it's just got um shall we say a gentleman's member oh oh so you can sit on and, and about we we have covered them with aubergines. I, I was just about to kind of say <laughs> that that yeah okay that that's um. <laughs> I was, was going to say, there's, there's, there's nothing really to hold on to, but you wouldn't need anything to hold on to because you're <laughs> you're impaled on it. <laughs> exactly. Impaled. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, there is and a handle can, to hold on you, to. Yeah, so you can eat. You can be putting cake in your mouth while while you're bouncing. So, <laughs> is this a genuine actual thing that you can buy on the this dark web? A genuine web? actual thing that you can buy. <laughs> Just wow. no on the on the ordinary internet. Just on the ordinary internet, and and ordinary would that be internet, yes? 
would that be on Amazon um, or Wish? Uh, it would. It be on. It would be on a different website. Um, okay. Not that, <laughs> not that I've got a search engine open at this very second. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not Typing keen away. on. I'm not keen on the brown. I don't. I don't like the the brown coloured one. That looks a bit poopy. Um, but it looks a bit poopy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, like, yeah. Have a have a wiped it off afterwards. You're not quite sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So when when does yeah, yours arrive that, then? Three to three to six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> but just in time for the lockdown to be over. Yes. But you can go to work on it. If, you know, there's always there's always a you know the traffic gets really bad. <laughs> Bouncing down the motorway or <laughs> with a smile on your face. <laughs> yeah. The thing is, I car share. Oh. <laughs> That's a whole different story. Well, you keep still in that back seat. <laughs> <laughs> okay um now I, I i know that i'm a driver and you're a driver as well aren't you lee mm, some would say yes have you have you ever been involved in an accident many <laughs> many any that weren't your fault um all of them and some of them <laughs> all of them okay um, i'm not going to try and ask you whether you want to make a claim no, no. um it's not that kind of call um well, something came up on tiktok that made me smile. And it's a young lady who'd been left a little note on the windscreen oh. about an accident that oh, that's while, a nice thing Carl to do. was away. Yeah, a little note. And, and so we're going to play it for you now. So I went to Walmart. Oh. And I so she's car. there. I'm sorry for the damage to your car. Can't afford to fix so it. Here's some chocolate. <laughs> Two bars of Hershey's, which I think is an insult. To yeah, because Hershey's chocolate. Is... Um, oh. And there's, there's the. <laughs> That's not just you've clipped the winger mirror. That she's that, you're not going to be able to buff that out, are you? You're not. <laughs> not got not a bit of that tea cutting stuff and bring that out. That that what? Exactly. How has she? What has she done that with? With like an articulated lorry or something like that? <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> well, oh. Uh, you see, so I, I I'd be really upset, and you can hear it in her voice as well how upset she is about a car. Um, but you know, someone's given you two pieces of really awful chocolate if it had been cabris i might have forgiven her to be fair but that stuff (laughs) tastes like (laughs) so i would not be happy she's ruined my car and she's left me rubbish chocolate not not happy that you're still gonna eat anyway which yeah i would force it down because obviously yeah it's chocolate Um, (laughs) exactly melt it into a soup um um, but that is horrific that is proper that's like that's through the paint (laughs) And down yep. to the actual <laughs> metal <laughs> of the mm-hmm. vehicle. That's that's going to have made a noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah. obviously nobody was around. But yeah, she had enough time to drive away by oh, to, go. to go and buy some. <laughs> unless she already had the chocolate with her, um, and just well, it's, 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 as she says, it happens in a Walmart, so it's America. Oh, okay. um, so she might have already bought the chocolate. Yeah, yeah. And it's like. A, yeah, it, it's a bit of a, a kicker, really. Yeah, it's a kick in the teeth. <laughs> with cheap chocolate. And if something catches your eye on the internet, why not share it with us? Just don't forget, on all your social media platforms, just search for The Could TV. Oh, actually, something's just popped in, in now. I've just had a ping in my ear. Oh. So God. should we see if so- someone's message? I'm glad just- it was just your ear that it pops into. Yeah. <laughs> so this comes from so Mrs. Belinda Mycock. Oh cocker mouth. Bell, yeah. Um <laughs> so yes, hello. Um she puts Dear Chewing the Cud, what is a Kardashian and where can I buy one? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. She, hello, yours, Mrs. Mycock. Um well Mrs. Yes. Miss Well Belinda, if I may be as presumptuous. Um a Kardashian <laughs> is something that is a, is American that was created in a petri dish. Um, it was it was a uh, it was an accident. <laughs> Very large petri yeah. dish. Um and they kind of they I think they were looking for the cure to stupidity. Um but it backfired <laughs> and it <laughs> the backfired Kardashians massively. were created. They put a negative instead of a plus and yeah. all went wrong. And then they appeared. <laughs> and the problem with them is is they keep dividing, they keep splitting and more more of them keep being made. <laughs> it's horrific, yeah. Well, thank you for that, um, our Belinda. Our Belinda. Um, <laughs> our Belinda. Um, she's one of the family now. You know, we've seen her. Oh, <laughs> she's now our. So, yeah. She's now my cock. 
Belinda Mycock. She's now Mycock, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, cock, Mycock. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how they talk in Cumbria? <laughs> um, so, thank you for that, Mrs. Mycock. Please do keep in touch. <laughs> um, that brings us to the story of the week. Oh. Now, I, I need to preface this with a very strong warning. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so listen to me, people. Do not try this at home. I don't want any nasty emails. I don't want any lawyers. So do not try this at home. Okay. So, Lee, how do you make a perfect brew? I don't drink tea, but being taught how to do it from a small child in the orphanage, Mm -hmm. what one does is one puts the kettle on, then boils the kettle, Mm -hmm. you put your tea bag already in your cup or your mug, and then you pour the hot tea, hot water over it, Mm -hmm. you let it steep for a little bit. Some people put milk in first, Mm -hmm. some people put milk in after. Add your tea, add your sugar, add your honey, whatever. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, have a brew. That's what you do. (laughs) Okay. See, I was taught likewise from a very young age, but we used a teapot. Oh, you were a fancy family. Steep, <laughs> steep in the teapot um, for, for three minutes. Um, well, apparently we're both wrong. Are we? Yes, we've both gone about this completely the wrong way. Um, Shell 36 from TikTok um, has shared how to make the perfect brew. Has she? We'll be the judge of that. Let's listen. Here she comes. So her and her daughter saying, and she'd make this brew. Oh, she's the American woman. She's the American woman. Now they put water into a mug. Straight away, that's wrong. Is she putting that in, in the microwave? That's that's just that's just filthy. And then milk into the water and tea bag. Free pour the sugar. How much sugar is? How much sugar is that been poured into that? <laughs> that. Oh at the my god! Bro. And then did she? Did, oh, did she like cheerio in that kind of way that Americans do? That they all think we th- we speak like Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, she needs yeah. to get in a bin. <laughs> she does. She's literally made the world's worst cup of tea oh, and then bragged about it. She needs. Yeah, yeah. The, the, there must be so some sort of what, class what that we can send her on to learn how to to make a brew. Well, what I think we should do is we should get everybody at home to film their own versions of how to make a cup of tea mm. and then send them to us. Yes. And what we will do is we will email her continually yes. until she learns how to make a cup of tea. Mm. So, yeah. So if, if you've got any of those videos, please do share them. Don't forget it's The Could TV on all of your social media platforms. So, yeah. And that's all from The Buzz this week. Well, thank you very much for that, Mike. I, I learned something new and I'm also very angry. So it's a win-win situation. <laughs> And you've got just enough time to pick the raisins out of a Garibaldi. Ugh. Because coming up next, we have our lockdown lessons. Show us your tips. Go to thecud.tv slash support. Keep us well lubricated. Go to thecud.tv slash support. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud, where anything can happen, and sometimes it's actually what we plan on doing. Talking of things that we plan on doing... Yes, that means it is time for this week's... Lockdown Lessons. Okay, so this week's lockdown lesson is food-themed. I don't know about you, Mike, but I'm fed up of just ordinary food. I'm fed up of it just looking boring. I don't know about you. Do you do you ever yearn for something fulfilling? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do. I, I've been putting lots of things in my mouth over lockdown, and Have sometimes you? I wish they would look prettier. Yeah, we, you know, it's we eat with our eyes as well, apparently. Yes. So um, this well, week, I can't we're going, fit we're... much more in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's an orifice. I'll put it in there. <laughs> <laughs> this week we are going to look at the ancient art of fruit carving. So, oh. um, d- would you by any chance have what I like to refer to as yellow tree penises, <laughs> <laughs> or a yes. banana? <laughs> yes, banana milkshake. Oh no, no, uh, the, the actual, the the, the original 
organic oh, version. A, a, an actual a one of those. Yes. Right. I, I just when you said get a so a banana, I just went for milkshake. Right, I'm going to have to pass you one of my bananas. Okay. So, are you ready? can you put your fruit shake down it. thing? Right, I'm going to pass it over. Right. There you go. Okay. Yeah, got it. You got hold of it. I can think you've got the tip. Yeah, yeah, you've got it. Oh, yeah. wonderful, mm. wonderful. So oh, it's very firm. It is, isn't it? Um, yours is it's got a bit of a green tinge, which is good. So yeah. um, we're going to start off relatively easy. So oh, for people at home, what you're going to need is you're obviously you're going to need a banana. Um, you're also going to need. A um a sharp knife. Be careful with a sharp knife. Don't want yes. you to cut yourselves. Bananas don't look good with blood on them. Um no, you're also gonna need um a pen. Mine's slightly camp. It's got a feather on one end, it's got a jewel on it. It's what you would expect. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly candy. That's uh, yeah. Like you. yeah. So you, you've got a pen, and you're also going to need some um, um, cocktail sticks. I have three cocktail sticks. cocktail sticks. Oh wow! You've got everything that you need. So yes. we're going to create um, a lovely um, dolphin from our banana. How, how are we going to do that, Lee? You're asking. Well, yeah, I'm going to show you. I'm so, actually why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> so you need. So, so you need to have your banana with the um, stalk bit upwards. Yes, so yeah, 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 yeah. So um, now, look. If you could, you just hold your banana up closer to the screen for me. You, yeah, you're. So can you see the little sort of brown bit at the end, the little kind of husky bit? Yeah. This bit here. You need to. Yeah, you need to chop that off. You need to just chop it off. Okay. We, we might have to do this off screen, um, so that but so people. Um, are wondering we are we are cutting and chopping. Okay. How how how, how that? Oh no! I'm gonna have to. Oh, no! It's a dolphin, not a bloody. <laughs> it's a bottle nose dolphin. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, we'll go with that. Right. Okay. Look, so, giving me fruit in life. <laughs> <laughs> so so we so we have created. So this is going to be the head of the dolphin here. Okay. Right. Okay. So what you then you're going to do is sort of halfway down the banana, you're going to cut it. So we don't want the kind of end bit. We just kind of want sort of half of the banana. Oh, okay. Do I cut it? Uh, uh, I'm going to wait to see how you cut yours. Just yeah, like that. Oh, just flat. flat, like that. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know, on the list of things I needed to get. We didn't have chopping board, I'm just saying. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. It's okay. Well, obviously, if you're doing this at home, go Be full safe, blue, yeah. Peter. Have the chopping board, have the apron, have the golden retriever in the corner. Um, so, um, what are you going to do now? So, you discard the bit that we don't want. We just want the top bit. We just want the, the, the bit with the... <laughs> Did you just, did you just ram all that in a hole in your in your... Mike is single, people. He's single. <laughs> He's a reason why I'm popular. <laughs> so now, <Yeah>. I'm. <laughs> you have what could be a a dolphin, sort of like popping out of the sea to say hello, but it's not ready yet. No, no, no. It needs okay. fins, and it needs a dorsal <laughs> fin. So you're going to make that cut like a like a upside Can't down. <laughs> Can you not see it? There. Oh, oh there. Like a okay. V. Yeah. Like a V. Yeah, okay. on both sides. An upside, yeah, a V okay. on both sides. Because so cut through the skin, don't chop through um, <laughs> the, I'm glad the you flesh. Said that because I was about to cut through the flesh. <laughs> okay, it's just so. Okay, so um, right. Okay, now once you've once you've made those cuts, yeah, wonderful. What you're going to do is these are going to be its flippers. So just pop them out. Just um, <laughs> release them. <laughs> <laughs> so you've Tease got oh look you've got two little flippers yeah wonderful I'm quite impressed and then what you're going to do is you're going to make another V shape on the back of the banana sort of, mm -hmm. sort of midway and that is going to be its um, dorsal fin does it need to be the same sort of direction of a V or is it the other way yeah, yeah uh, the, the normal way that a V is <laughs> so, because we're cutting into a banana, it's not usual that we get a V on a banana. Which, no. But you know. <laughs> so, does it, need, does it need to go point down or point up? Point down. Point, point down. down. Yeah. 
This is riveting, this, isn't it? Um, this is great. And then what you do is you just kind of, like you did with the, the dorsal fins, you just sort of release it until it, it, it looks like a fin. Oh, that's beautiful. Now, to finish it off, um, we need to make a mouth, and we also need to give it eyes. So, for its okay. mouth, this mm -hmm. is a tricky bit. This is where you have to be careful. You have to take your knife, and you have to make a slice down the kind of stalky bit to kind of sort of just after it, where it meets the um, body of the banana. Okay. Which I'm having to pick. So like that. Yeah, a bit, bit bigger than that. A bit bigger than that. Because if you think dolphins, bigger. they've got quite, they've got quite wide mouths. <laughs> <laughs> they need. So um, I had a slight slip. I had what a slight happened? Slip. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I know it, it's yeah, that, it's kind of yeah. And then what you do is you just te you just tease wow, it open wow, wow, a little wow, bit. Wow, wow. So, <laughs> tease it open I, a little. <laughs> tease it open so it looks like yeah. it's so it looks like it's begging for a fish. Um, and then <laughs> I'm or quite impressed with yours. Or a, yeah. And then what you do is you give it a, a little dot either side of its snout with your pen. Okay, and then a little little dot in the top for its um. What do they call those? Blow holes. Blow yeah, holes. blow holes. And then, if that is that is pretty pretty spot on. A special, um, special, isn't so, it? Yeah. So that you should now have a beautiful, beautiful. Um, dolphin um, banana. Um, now, the trick with it is you don't just stop at one. Oh, no, you don't just stop at one. You would create kind of like a school of... You're eating it, Mike. You ate its hair. You ate its brains. <laughs> so you would create a number of these and then you would have a lovely serving platter. I would suggest perhaps making some jet... <laughs> <laughs> I've never been more aroused, actually. <laughs> you, I would so, suggest, <laughs> suggest getting some blue jelly. I don't know what kind of uh -huh. flavour blue jelly would be. Or... Blue. No, well, what, what, what... Yeah. Or coconut and mixing it with a bit of food colouring to create the sea. And then you would pop... Uh -huh pop your dolphins on so they're all like jumping out of the jumping out of the ocean um so, well so, um, so the cocktail sticks are here for for what purpose is this just to um, give me something else to buy no there is we were going to make a dog but we've uh -huh. run out of time <laughs> oh so just <laughs> it took you so long to master the five basic cuts of the dolphin <laughs> not that it's judging you yeah but um, <laughs> perhaps we'll save that Save it, that for another time. Um, okay. So yeah, I, what I would like is that if any of the viewers would like to do this and they would like to send us pictures of their dolphins, then we would love that. Now we have mastered the art of fruit origami and we have come to the end of this week's show. If you cannot wait another week until you see us, by all means, go onto our website or get onto our social media. The details are below. We will see you all again next week. Bye. Bye. <laughs>